I went through so much in 2023. It was a year of depression, lost, change, hurt, pain, goodbyes, and unresolved traumas. I was definitely going through it. It was too overwhelming and I had to shut myself out to the world. Time of solitude gives you the opportunity to reflect and forge a deeper connection with yourself. Like every other day, I say good morning to the trees across my room, stare at them with a slight smile, and wonder to myself, how am I gonna get through it all? Blue sky come bearing up before us We hang on the hem of your gown Blue sky come promise not to leave us Terry gonna get through it still trying to grasp that question in my mind and as I write this is what I call living slow just sitting at a coffee shop journaling reflecting and activating my five senses. See, touch, smell, taste, and hear. I love going out to coffee shops. It fuels my soul and my well-being, but it's not always sunshines and rainbows. That was a $7 coffee. I had this belief before that you should stay positive no matter what. But no, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to not do anything and take it all in. Blue dude, blue moon. Kind of mysterious, shaded with someone I'm not really into. Do you need to fix it? So last year, 2023, was very hard for me. I felt really comfortable at first during the beginning of the year and I eventually lost my sense of passion in being creative. I didn't really enjoy the little moments because I was always drained and there was no sense of goals that I wanted to do for myself. And there was nothing to fuel up my soul as well. So I eventually lost myself. The reason that I was very much being drained mentally was from the job that I did not feel very safe to express my creativity and the growth that I wanted to have for myself. And eventually I did lose that job. I didn't quit, I didn't get fired. I got laid off, which was the universe was telling me, Rans, you need to take a break. You need to rest. This is your opportunity to get back to yourself, which I am glad <laughs> I got laid off because it was a blessing in disguise. I also lost friends last year. I've outgrown them. 
I cut them off. We are just in a different path in life and different mentality. I was a people pleaser and I said yes to everything and they would take advantage of that and it really did took a toll on me. I always used to feel guilty about myself. I doubted myself a lot and my capability of actually being a good friend. They really questioned me that which was very toxic and I didn't deserve that. I did walk away from friendships that were no longer have interest in the level of life that they had to offer me and I let go. I also had my first heartbreak and heartbreaks are not easy. This was my first relationship as well. I eventually fell in love with the potential. I also did start to lose myself in this relationship. I was super attached to this person and I just feel like we brought each other down and it was pretty sad. at the good memories, I was reminded that I'm capable of being happy, creative, expressive, and I can spread so much love to people. I had to remind myself those qualities that I had, and so I started to pay attention to life and the world again. I have to cherish even the bad days too. Because with all the negative experiences that we have, we can all learn something from them. After all, we are just experiencing life. Let's not get stuck. We are not a hamster just circling around the same ball. And forgive and free yourself. To answer my question earlier, Will I get through it? Yes, I definitely can, and you can too. The journey doesn't end when all is lost. It is just the beginning of a new chapter. Mm -hmm.